Clubhouse. Coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, a drug lord's son returns to Miami, much to the surprise of the underworld, and Vice in the episode God's Work. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired from November 2nd to November 8th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 8th, an IRA bomb exploded in Enniskillen, Northern Ireland, killing 11 people and wounding 63. Known as the Remembrance Day bombing, it took place during the Remembrance Sunday ceremony. It was immediately condemned and undermined support for the IRA. Following the attack, the Extradition Act was passed to allow for easier extradition of IRA suspects to the United Kingdom and is considered to be the turning point in the troubles between the two countries, leading to a political solution. In music, we have a very interesting transition in music. Moving Michael Jackson from the top of the Hot 100 is the teen pop sensation Tiffany with their cover song, I Think We're Alone Now. The synth pop song is a cover of the classic song by the same name from the great Tommy James and the Shondells. The song would end up being Tiffany's biggest hit and would spend two weeks at number one on the Hot 100. Ironically, you may still be able to catch this song being performed at your local mall. In movies, Buried Behind Fatal Attraction is a hidden gem. No, it's not Death Wish for The Crackdown starring Charles Bronson, and no, it's not Hello Again starring Shelley Long. Hiding in theaters is the drama Less Than Zero and is a classic of the 80s. Starring Andrew McCarthy, Robert Downey Jr., Jamie Gertz, and James Spader, the film is loosely based on the Bret Easton Ellison book of the same name, but bears virtually no resemblance to the book. Centered around a group of friends dealing with drug addiction in the high life of L.A. teens, the film skirted darker topics covered in Ellis's book. But with a deep cast and a great soundtrack, this is one of my favorites from the decade. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.